так вот. So back, look here. It's too broken. No way, we run it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Challenger ELO plays are back and in full force, so let's get ready for 23 minutes of these high ELO plays with a Velkaz that survives and dominates an impossible situation. <laughs> this is what happens when you get a little too comfy around a challenger riven main. Echo lures Zed into thinking he's safe after dodging that W stun, but it's that Q slow that seals this death trap. Um, I think you, you get a pass this time, you know? Because uh, like you say, it's not... Oh, uh, 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 hello? What? Uh, what? Poppy and Co. have the CC and coordination to completely dismantle the enemy team. With Aatrox singled out and stunned into oblivion, there is very little salvation for Red Side. Oh my god, another quadra. What the hell? Probably pretty mad about what happened in the last game. This time around 7, 1, and 3 on this Jinx. As over goes Ona, Stefas Presence gets a fair bit of value and package delivered! FedEx from Baker into the back line, absolutely obliterating them. That Baron was all a cunning ruse and how many aces? We ain't even close. Job. Doran actually procking his edge of night as he goes over the wall into the ash arrow. Very, very funny. 
And it looks initially like T1 has the setup. Five men knock up, owner into the back line, Zayus is there, but then the amount of burst that comes from that Q3 from Doran there, absolutely huge. And then at this point, you can't really continue forward as T1. They do deny the Baron though. No way I choke it this hard. I should still catch it, right? Don't think that this Darius is done dunking yet, as that timer is still ticking. Actually, so good. Also, what are we doing? I guess we'll all be. I don't have decap yet. Oh my God. God, this build feels so much better than what I've been doing. This build is the build! This build is the build! Handcrafted, woven by the god of Cain himself. The build, the kill. Weird. If you think that's a thing, you're just weird. You're weird, weird, right? What is this soundies? What is these soundies, bro? Oh, I can't focus. Yana knows that where there is a support, there is an ADC. And while they may not make it out, four for one doesn't sound too shabby. I could actually go insane here. Ooh! Yes! Let's go! Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to wake up people. Sorry, sorry, I got, I, I got hyped up. Sorry. Behold the sheer value this Rift Herald provides. It just doesn't get better than this, ladies and gentlemen. And then we're gonna go for this big boy. I could ult off the rift. No, actually, I, I didn't know that. I could. I, that's the first time I learned about that. You could apparently ult off the rift. <laughs> that's a fun interaction. I actually did not know that you could do that. This rift plays well. Catch just infinitely kite me, and I can't auto her back. We'll see though. 
find a way. You can just short trade and run away. Check the minimap for where Shaco premeditatively placed his clone ball. Oğlum ben dalga geçmiyorum. Aziz dalga geçiyordu. Aziz yazdı bana. Şununla alakalı bir video atsana falan izleyeyim diye. Ben o yüzden attım. Aziz dalga geçiyor. Hep o atıyor bana. Oğlum Aziz sen ne yapıyorsun? Optimale distanz die ihr haben kannst du auf. Ich bin mal kurz ihm vorbeigelaufen. Danke, steht da mit Pan. Der sollte mobil genug sein. Flamer nimmt einfach nochmal den Turret unten mit. Hat leicht die Megaform. Das könnte jetzt ein Moment sein, wo Evi diesen Drake contesten möchte. Flamer hittet gerade die Megaform. Teleport jetzt in den Rücken. Paranoia schaltet die Lampe ebenfalls mal aus. Jetzt kommt der Reengage von Pan. Quickness ist an. Und hier oh. kommt relativ Mega Ult auf 2. Und der Damage von Akali. 3 zu 0. Double für Relative Sensora. No, okay. <lacht> Der fühlt Gust. Der. Ich bin vier. Coming in from the top left hand corner of the screen, we've got a Cassiopeia who doesn't know what's coming for her. That guy stinks. Wait, maybe I stink? No, that guy definitely stinks. Wait, it actually could be me. Wait a minute. Okay, but like, invisible, 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 invisible. What? It's up again. up again it's 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 up again. It's up again. I just thought Shaco. So funny. Yon actually did a great job whittling Riven down, so surely the upcoming gank will be able to finish the job. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, moonwalked over him.
After pushing Katarina back to her tower, Kiana aims at Nami with no intention on killing the fish. Fiora teleports mid to not only save his teammates, but also run the gauntlet with the entire enemy team. Unfortunately for Ezreal here, he is up first. But he had six soon. Coming up, we've got turret gameplay at the highest level. He spawns his purple vehicle to drift into Dragon Pit, accessing an unlimited auto attack target for that sweet, sweet sustain. play was so <laughs> what the hell was that I was just like Mantém, aí, mantém, aí, mantém aí. a tropa do mano nossa vamos
Oh my. No. Clad goes to show us exactly how much one burst of sheer willpower and reflexes can get you. He's killable. What are we thinking? What are we thinking guys? I I don't think I can kill him, he's completely like out of my reach. Maybe. Maybe if we brought the butt forward. Okay. We are doing Oh that's a bit of a heal. God damn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. Bomba. Uh, it's already a raid boss. Oh, hello, dear. That's all we have for today's video, all on challenger level plays. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you did enjoy and subscribe for more videos just like this one. As always, stay safe, everybody, and have yourselves a wonderful day.